Joyce Atim, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the invite. You are one of the leading uh, tech uh, analysts at uh, Pivot, uh, Uganda, a fintech company. Uh, tell us a little bit uh, more about what you guys do. Pivot Payments is a service provider that provides payments to payment solutions to individuals and, uh, and businesses. And it was established in 2019 with uh, a group of people from experiences of uh, banking and fintech industry and our B2B, our business to business solution includes bulk payments and um, collection, bulk collections that is from mobile money card and uh, bank accounts using our product called Pivot Pay that is an app. It is for both retail and agent. How many people would you say use uh, this uh, platform? So far, we have about 250,000 users. That is the platform to to save, to save, to send money, and to spend. How big is the fintech space in uh, Uganda? Uh, a lot of people are still used to their cash, making transactions uh, using cash. Uh, how much of a challenge is? Uh, uh, is it for you guys trying to penetrate that market? It is a bit tricky because the competition is so high right at the moment. But uh, I think it depends on how you how you handle your customers. Mostly, it's all about customer care. That is that is what will always bring pe people towards your business. What's so unique about your products and uh, uh, customer service? When a customer asks for for something like this is not working they we have people that answer that answer that immediately like they are always on call with customers how did you end up being uh, a tech analyst uh, in one of the fintech companies uh, in uganda i joined pivot as a software developer and as the company kept on growing they realized that there is need for a data analyst and that's when I came in and they brought in someone to come and train me as a data analyst and I picked I picked it up. What got you to that point to say that, you know what, I want to be part of this new tech revolution? I became a single mother of three daughters because I needed to continue with my career um the father of my kids gave me two options to quit the job that i was doing sit home and take care of the children or i pack and leave his house and i was like okay i think taking my career is much better because the the relationship had become very abusive and toxic because we would we didn't even stay together for the last seven years that we stayed together he was working abroad he would just come for like three weeks in a year and he would either leave me pregnant or when i'm breastfeeding and all this time i was staying alone with the kids it was really very difficult for me so i decided to pack my things and left his house I have. So I wouldn't want any woman or a young girl that is just growing up to go through what I went through because it is really, it's very difficult. I'm very sorry that you have to deal with that kind of a situation. I hope uh, things have gotten better now that uh, you've found uh, your sense of uh, purpose. Uh, you are able to do what you love to do. If I had not, not made this decision that I made two years or three years back, I wouldn't be who I am right now. I am both a software developer and a data analyst at Pivot Payments. And if I had not made that decision that I made, I wouldn't be where I am right today. Right now, I can pay my bills, pay rent, and take care of my children. So it is possible, I bet you it is possible. It is not easy, but it's possible when you're focused and you get connections with the right people. You need to you need to keep learning and learn to be humble because that is when you get connected to the right people. Thank you so much, Joyce, for your time.
I am so grateful.